Hello, uh, let us look at the year 2000 AMC 10. Uh, number one, in the year 2001, the United States will host uh, International Mathematical Olympiad. Let I, M, and O be the distinct positive integers. Alright, so that the product of 2001 right over here. Uh, what is the largest possible value of the sum? In order for us to make the sum to be the uh, greatest, these numbers that we see has to be greatest apart, meaning any one of them can be as close to 2001 as possible, then it would have been awesome. But the thing is, since they are uh, distinct in, uh, positive integers, one of, the, one of the things which we can get is one of the value can be equal to 1. Then how about the other two values? We can use the factor tree here. So 2001, when you break that down, then we get 3, and here we get 6, 6, 7. So in this way, we, we increase the one of the value as much as possible, so that we can uh, have a sum to the greatest as possible. So when you add up all these three values, we end up getting 671. So 671 becomes our answer. Let us move on to number 2. Here we have 2,000 times 2,000 to the 2,000 power. It looks a little bit confusing, but if you have to look at it carefully, here we have 1 hidden as an exponent. So therefore, we have 2,000 to the first power and times 2,000 to 2,000 uh, power, then we get 2,000 to 2,000 1 power. So which is choice A. That becomes our answer. All right, let's move on to uh, the next question, number three. So here we have uh, each day, Jenny uh, ate 20% of the jelly beans. That means we, in fact, still has 80% left. In other words, we are keep on holding on to 80% of the previous one. So now, at the end of the second day, that means first we... Uh, in the beginning of the first day, Jenny ate 20%. So that means we have 0.8 of the original uh, count that we have. But in the beginning of the second day, she ate another 20%. So we have 80% left of the previous amount. But that should be equal to 32. Then here we get 0.64x must be equal to 32. So to find the value of x, we can divide it by 0.64, then x should be equal to 50. So we get 50. Choice B becomes our answer. All right, let us look at number four here. Uh, Chandra uh, pays online service provider, so fixed monthly fee plus uh, the hourly uh, charge for the uh, connect time. Now, I don't know how much they spent, but... On December, she had to pay 12, uh, 12 48 and in January, it was this much, because she used twice as much connect time as in December. So then, since I don't know um, how long the connect time was, so when it was equal to X, it corresponded to 12.48. And we can assume this one almost as if it is a... Uh, coordinates and then when she used twice as much so then we get 2x must be 17.54 then by uh, looking at the comparison change of here is x x amount of uh, time was responsible for the increase of uh, the fee from 1248 to 1754 so then x must be equal to here by subtraction we get 5 0.06. Now, what we are looking for is a fixed monthly fee is actually, since when she spent one uh, X amount of time that costed her 5.06 more, then before they used X amount of connect time, it probably started with some value. That would be the fixed cost here, and which is 12.48 minus 
then that becomes 7.42 and that becomes our answer which is choice D alright let's look at the next question number 5 here now um, as you can see uh, M and N are the midpoint and P will keep on moving, moving around how many of the four quantities listed below uh, change now the length of the uh, segment MN, in fact, as you can see, the line segment MN is called mid-segment, and it is always half of its base. Alright, now, so then this will not change because the base didn't change. Perimeter of the triangle B, uh, PBA. Yes, in fact, perimeter would have been changed because if the P goes all the way to one side, then it will, uh, it will lengthen between the distance between P and A or, and P and B. So therefore, that, that will change. Area. Uh, area of the uh, triangle. You see, area is based upon the base times height. Base is A, B, and it doesn't change. Height, since it's a parallel line, it doesn't change either. So, area doesn't change. <coughs> Area of the trapezoid, same idea as a uh, area of the triangle because to find the trapezoid we need the first base and second base, which both of them doesn't change. Height wouldn't also change either, so therefore uh, that doesn't change. Only possibility will be choice B, which is one choice. Number six, the Fibonacci sequence given above. Okay, starts with two ones and goes on which of the 10 digit is the last to appear in the unit position of the so let's try to write them down here we have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then first we realize 1 1 1 has been used 2 is used 3 also has been used 5 also used right over here and the next one is 8 and 3 which is we already have done it. Next one is 1, then 3 plus 1 becomes uh, 4. Now, so then here we don't have that anymore. So uh, I'm going to, I don't know what tens digit is, but it doesn't really matter. So this would have been 4 here. So 21, and then next number is something 4. In fact, 34, but it doesn't matter. And the 1 plus 4 becomes 5. We used it already here. And four plus nine becomes uh, four plus five becomes nine. We just uh, now we we are using it. nine plus four uh, nine plus five becomes four, which we used it already. But I'm going to write them down here. Nine plus four becomes three, and we used it. Four plus uh, three becomes seven, so we just used seven, and seven plus three becomes zero. So the last digit that will be left alone is six, which is choice C. Now let's look at number seven here. You see how the angle ABC has been trisected. That means each angle is the same. So this angle and this angle and that angle, all three angles would have been equal in measures. So since the uh, angle B originally, uh, angle D originally was 90 degrees, so each one here would have been equal to 30 degrees. 30 degrees each. Now, then what is the perimeter of the triangle BDP? B D P over here. The purple uh, triangle is what we are looking for. Given that AD is equal to 1. So since AD is equal to 1, then we can figure out what uh, BD is. Because this is 1, and then AB must be square root of 3 and BD must be equal to 2. But, we also have to realize that entire AB is not what we're looking for because what we're looking for is PB here. In order for us to find that, we need to get rid of AP. What is the value of AP? Because each angle is 30 degrees, a uh, 30 degree angle, so AP can be simply found by dividing 1 by radical 3, 1 over radical 3, which can simplify into radical 3 over 3. 
Then since radical 3 over 3 is a, uh, it can be like term with radical 3, so then when you subtract it, then PB becomes 2 radical 3 over 3. Now, and then uh, BP, uh, B, BD was equal to 2. How about uh, PD? PD is, in fact, double of AP by the 30, 60, 90 triangle. So PD is equal to uh, 2 square root of 3 over 3. So when you combine these two equal values and 2 together, then we will end up getting 2 plus 4 radical 3 over 3. All right, let's move on to the next question, number 8. At Olympic High School, 2 over 5 freshmen, so 2 fifths of the freshmen, and 4 fifths of the sophomores took uh, AMC 10, given that the number of freshmen and sophomore uh, contests were the same. That means this, these are equal to each other. So 5 can cancel out because they're the same value. Then F, by dividing by 2, then we get to realize that F is equal to 2S. Now, then what does that mean? F is equal to 2S. That means fresh, freshmen, we have twice as many freshmen as sophomores. So which is choice D. That's basically what we end up getting. All right, let us look at number 9. So in this case, we have an absolute value equation. And then notice that X is less than 2. So X, is, X minus 2 must be negative. In other words, this becomes negative X plus 2 equals P. So then here we get X must be equal to 2 minus P. But what I'm looking for is X minus P. So then when you're by, uh, subtracting 2 minus P by P one more time, we get X minus P must be equal to 2 minus 2P, which is choice C. And let us look at number 10 here. A side of a triangle uh, with positive area has length 4, 6, and X. That means we get to realize that X must be greater than the difference, which is 2, but less than the sum, which is 10. But in fact, not only X, but also Y is in the same uh, case between 2 and 10. Now, what is the smallest possible number uh, that's not possible value of this one? So that means, uh, what is the greatest value that which we can have the uh, difference between X and Y? Because x can go as low as 2, while y can go as high as 10. That means the difference between these two, x minus y, has to be less than 8. Because that's the boundary between the lowest and highest. But since I do not know which one is higher value, so if I put down the absolute value, then that this would be our answer. Which is 8. Choice D. Alright, we'll stop here for now. And then we'll continue in part two. Great. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.